Hello guys, this is Damodog82 and we are here for the 100th episode of my From the Depths Let's Play for Quest for Neater. And uh, surprise! Uh, hopefully very soon we'll be able to uh, spawn this big guy into the campaign here. This is Thora Odin's son, aka the Thunder God, inspired by the Amon Amar song Twilight of the Thunder God. Just give you guys a sec here to look over her stats. Big, big airship. Um, so let's just uh, quickly go over her weapons here. Uh, these guns here, they were put together by the one and only Matey. They are 8 meter rail assisted uh, guns that I believe I just switched them out for a hollow point HE. So probably do some very, very nasty work here. Heitzmeister was kind enough to do a lot of the uh, these uh, missile interceptors that you are seeing all over the ship. Very, very effective stuff. And we also have a LAM system here, there, and everywhere. Uh, I am Mark III did a lot of the body work with some help from Mady. Um, Down here we have some torpedo launchers. They have like three different types of guidance systems just to try to prevent spoofing. Uh, we have one that's remotely guided, we have one that's IR guided, and we have another one that's sonar guided. Uh, these underslung cruise missiles here, they are large missiles and they are um, remote guidance uh, systems so yeah um, they will pack a hell of a punch just so you guys could have a look see at them 60,000 HE damage of course in probably current that number has been halved I imagine but whatever uh, got the sensor tower up here well, at first people didn't like it but after a while it kind of grew on them so I left it uh, down here we have a anti-aircraft turret that uh, I believe Heitzmeister and Mady put together. Uh, basically they fire the same type of shell here. Um, let's see here. Let's have a look see what kind of shell it is. Yeah, it is a flak frag shell so then that way it uh, timed a course and that way you can take out air targets very easily. Uh, don't mind the uh, Rex Mark II over there. We're going to be using that for something else entirely here in a little bit. Um, we also have a couple of banks of Razul's missiles here. Very, very nasty piece of work, as I keep saying over and over. Really love these missiles. Uh, we also have these four meter long uh, 500 millimeter uh, APS system here. Um, let's access the intake here. Squash head, yeah probably like a four meter long squash head round. And I wish I'd stop spawning over here. I need to start Sorry, I had a lot of prep work to do to try to get this all on one take, so I apologize for that. Anyway, uh, let's just continue the tour here. Uh, over here we have a 200mm quad barrel Hesh cannon. Uh, those are mounted on other sides. They are both rail assisted. Pretty much everything on this is rail assisted if it involves APS. Uh, Mady was the one who primarily did most of the APS work on this thing. And down here we have another um, hash spam gun, uh, 416 millimeter. As you can see, it's got uh, it's got a pretty insane rate of fire. These are very much burp guns. But you guys have seen kind of like every one of these weapon systems and how they work, so.
we are going to be testing the what I call the Mjolnir laser cannon. Now the way this was designed to work is if I could show you we just stripped the blocks away here so I could show you guys the insides. This is actually done over a series of several streams with me, Mady Heitzmeister, and I am Mark III. Um, over here is the the Mjolnir laser system. As you can see, it's absolutely ginormous. Very nasty piece of work. And there is a spin block here that begins to rotate when there's an enemy present. Now what this does is it turns on and off the local weapon controller over here that causes the laser to either fire or go into a recharge state. So once it, it uh, begins its firing sequence uh, the, the uh, laser cavity should be completely energized and this will emit a laser until those cavities are Pretty much completely drained so in that way we get the maximum damage out of this laser as much as we possibly can so with all that said what we're gonna do now is I kind of want to show you how effective this is so we're just gonna pause this here real quick and uh, you all are probably aware by now of the uh, Corollas Rex Mark II um, it's got some pretty insane armor if you guys have watched the um, the build videos I've done for this thing, you probably know that the armor is very, very thick. Uh, so let's just um, do a cutaway so you guys can see for yourselves. So yeah, it's got one layer of metal on the outside, then it's got heavy armor, then three layers of alloy, then it's got this wooden spall liner, another layer of alloy, then metal, and that's when you finally get down into these vital components down here. Uh, the Deadly Blazer just kind of helped with uh, speed and turning, but this thing could still maintain a speed of 25 meters a second without them, so yeah. Anyway. I thought you guys would be curious to see what the armor was like before we start test firing the laser. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to go over here and we're going to pause the game. And we are going to turn on this enemy simulator. And we're going to activate it. Make sure that everything is turned off but the Mjolnir laser, which is this dude right here. And we're going to see if we can burn a hole straight through it. Okay, that's something, that's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? Might be in a recharge phase. Let's give it a few seconds to see if it works. Oh, there it goes. Now, just to give you guys a bit of a frame of reference here, that distance is two kilometers roughly. And yeah, it's it's probably going to go right through this armor like it's nothing. Yeah, look at the block confetti. This is the most heavily armored ship I have ever made. And now it's probably going through its recharge phase. It looks like it started right about here. Yeah, you can it almost went entirely through the ship. This thing does not care whatsoever about 
oh armor <laughs> in general so let's just wait for it to go through another yep there it goes again yeah look at all that block confetti coming off of that holy crap and that is a continuous laser the laser will you know, try to discharge all the cavities before it goes into another firing phase. That's why there's such a long uh, pause in between shots. But this will absolutely laugh at smoke, it'll laugh at armor, and it'll just make a mess of everything. I mean look at that, it's just going straight through that heavy. Anyway, I thought you guys would just want to have a, a bit of a live weapons test to see what that's like. So, uh, let's pause it. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Anyway, we're going to pause it for a sec here, and we're just going to have it open up with all of its weapons. And watch the fireworks. Holy crap. I think we just took out the uh, rear seawiz on this thing. I was originally going to bring in a tier to test the weapon system out for you guys, but um, I thought this has way more armor and way more blocks, so yeah. Honestly, I don't know how these guys would do in a one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't tried that out yet, but oh, maybe sometime down the line. Uh, but both of these uh, designs are available on the workshop, so if you want to try that out yourself, feel free to go right on ahead. But uh, I just thought you guys would want to see this thing in action, and uh, we'll be spawning it into the campaign as soon as we're able to. So I'm just going to put in a cut right here, and through the magic of editing, we'll be back in the campaign. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back in the campaign. I hope you all enjoyed that uh, well, live weapons test that we did with the Thor Odin Sun. Um, now, we're going to do some upgrades here. Um... I want to retrofit this Shuriyama into, let's see here, the Kingdom Come Missile Cruiser. And we're going to have you refit us as well. Oh, where is it? Not there. I'll have you guys refit into new ships. Let me 
Now down over here. Receiving. Moving now. Let's try taking this out. Uh, I want Receiving. the Kingdom Moving Comes now. to come up a little closer. Receiving. Receiving. Rex, Moving let's now. have you pick up some of this garbage. I don't know why, but those guys seem to want to go to the south. Receiving. Uh. Okay. Looks like we got those upgraded after all. Okay, cool. Oops. There we go. Receiving. Moving. Moving. Medway, how about you give these guys uh, a hand with repairs here? Oh, what are you? Okay. Receiving. Moving now. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Moving out. What do we have here? Hypatos. Okay. Uh, I think the Kingdom Come should be able to handle a lot of the stuff in this fleet. We'll back it up with uh, the airships just in case. And this fleet over here. We want the kingdom comes on top of the list there. All right, let's do this. That's right. Oh. Oh, did we take that out? Awesome. No complaints here. That's kind of cool, they took that thing down in a single run.
That is just going to be a meal for the torpedoes. Well, eventually. But uh, he's probably not going to do much from where he's sitting. For the most part, it looks pretty disabled. Looks like that one's about to be taken out. We have a, what looks to be a scorpion just pop in. We'll knock the shit out of it. Some big ol' HE missiles. Ooh, level up. Very nice. Oh, that big one missed. Oh well. Looks like that Tachyon over there got the shit knocked out of it, finally. Gotta love that big missile block confetti. Holy shit. Good thing there wasn't anything too valuable in there. That guy's about had it. Torpedoes will probably finish him off. Oh yeah, we kind of struggled with this guy. Because he's got the decoys. Looks like a couple of torpedoes bit it already. That scorpion's about gone. I'm wondering if these guys would do a little bit better if they were backed up with some submarine support. Maybe some of the holy divers, I'm thinking, but this water is not very deep. AI dead. Very nice. I wonder if that hypotos is going to be next in line. Nope, that's a Shiriyama. And there's another scorpion for what it looks like. Boy, is he in for a nasty surprise. Whoa! Camera 
doing some weird shit there, folks. Yeah, you're boned. Well and truly boned. Good lord. I think it just got blown in. Yep, it did. Uh, I think that missile cruiser is going to... Yeah, you're going into some shallow water there, bud. Are you trying to avoid it? I think it is. Yeah, it looks like she's turned to starboard, I believe. <laughs> you think putting me in front of the desk from this long, I should know which one's which, but yeah, I believe that's starboard. Oh, it's another one of these hot rotting sons of bitches. Well, big ol' HE will deal with you just fine. And there's a submarine just spawned in over there, though I don't think we're going to need it now. And this high path, though, should be coming in any moment now. <laughs> it barely had a chance to get out of the water. Holy crap. That guy's just all the flak popping them balloons left, right, and center. Very nice. Well, just keep peppering away at it. As the great Duke Nukem once said, if it bleeds, I can kill it. And this thing's bleeding blocks like crazy. Lost a big chunk of something right there. Oh. 
80 below and sinking. I don't know if it's gonna... It might pop back up. It's got a nasty habit of doing that. I see it happen a zillion times. Yep, AI dead. Awesome. That means that fleet is wiped out. Uh, submarines look like they're no longer submarines at the moment. Kind of annoying, but what you gonna do? All right, battle finished. Let's pull all. And let's get him all repaired up. Uh, sure, Yamas, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you before I forget about it. Just renaming these because if you try to upgrade one ship into a different type of ship, it's going to retain the same name, so that's why I'm changing them. Receiving. And I think we're going to have that fleet go over there. Receiving. And we're going to spawn in on this Rex Mark II here. Uh, okay, nothing's going on in the north. Where is, ah, there's the resource ring. Ah, uh, I can't wait till we're done with these lightning hood guys because then I can try using more aircraft again. It makes it go a lot faster if you've got some air cover. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Will it let me do it here? Yes. And you guys have probably seen me do this several times already, but yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see here. Resources. RTG's 4 meter. And let's see. Material storage, bam. And let's see. Gonna need some gatherers. Bam. All right, I want to grab this spy satellite here, and I want to have a bit of a look deeper into enemy territory here. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these last man standing and upgrade them here in a little while. Probably to a uh, 
the holy divers. I'm not quite sure what these guys are planning to do here. It looks like they're going to try to make a run for that fleet. What all do we have in these fleets? Tesla, Terrellant, Ohm, Crossbolt. Oh yeah. Two Kingdom Comes could definitely handle that. What the hell is over in this fleet? Hm. Guess we'll find out. Probably gonna have to wrap this uh, video up as soon as this battle is over. Whoa! That was interesting. We only get one kingdom come. What the shit, people? Almost looks like those missiles could use a little APN guidance. But it only takes a few solid hits to disable this thing. Hey, look at that. That jet engine is never going to work again. Black Spike. Uh, we killed something. Something out there is AI dead. I think that's a scorpion. Probably took uh, one too many huge missiles to the face. Probably so, considering it's brain dead now. I thought that was showing too damaged. Hmm. Maybe something else over there was dying then. Hmm. Come on, let's get another cruiser in here. These are not even odds by any stretch of the imagination. This thing should be dead, I'd imagine, but... Mm -hmm.
It's like those huge missiles don't quite have the turning circle to hit this thing. That one did though. Just annihilating this thing. Another scorpion. I don't know that big one's gonna hit. Probably gonna go into the water. Yep. That big one's gonna miss too. Something spawned in. I'm sure you guys saw that lag spike there. I think we got our second missile cruiser in. Yeah, you took a lot of damage there. Where'd your ship go, sir? It's like it was shot out from underneath you. I think that's the last one in this fleet. Bump, oh, isn't it? Well, whatever the hell that is, it's AI dead, so I guess no need to worry about him. All right. We got all of them knocked out. Moving. Receiving. Gonna pull all. Alright guys, uh, I'm afraid that uh, ends this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Damodoc82. Have yourselves a hell of a day and keep your hammer high. Later. <laughs>